Hi, good afternoon everybody. The boys are back in action once again today in Pittsburgh. So we will see if they bounce back after that. I guess the polite word is lackluster performance yesterday. I, uh, I don't have much answers for yesterday. Even with what we iced yesterday, I expected a better game from everybody, everybody. And um, I'm not going to be uh, making excuses for UPL. He should have took the opportunity yesterday and closed the door. Like, I don't care if we win or lose, but I want to see UPL guys in this preseason show us something, okay? And yesterday I seen the same goalie I seen last year so far. I get there were two breakaways, but that first goal set the tone of the game. It just did. Okay, but today... Let's, uh, let's take a look at the lineup, guys. Give me one second. Okay, here we go. Okay, forwards. Greenway, Thompson, Benson, Paterka, Middlestadt, Byro, Gergensens, Kulik, Rosen, Noyshev, Kozak, Cedarquist. Then on defense, Stillman, Clegg, Novikov, Metza, and if you look above, Johnson, Bryson should be in there. And in goalie, Comrie, Hauser, Cooley. My guess is Comrie will get two periods and Cooley will get the third. That's just a guess. I also got the Penguins lineup, guys. We should take note of this. Here it comes. All right, take a look who they're icing, though. <laughs> they got Tristan Jari in nets. They got Carlson Latang on the blue line. And, and uh, on forward, uh, they got Riley Smith, they got uh, Malkin, they got Carter, they have Crosby. <laughs> They're sending in their troops best they can for this one. But let's take note, guys. Here's who we really have to fear. Look at the second name on their forwards. They have the great future Hall of Famer, Alex Nylander. <laughs> what the hell does Pittsburgh want with that guy? I don't know. I honestly, guys, believe he's a true bust. I think that guy could play in a line with Crosby all year and still get 10 goals. Really, I just think Alex Nylander's a bust. Uh, that's, you know, there's guys that underproduce in their career, okay? There is. But Alex Nylander, for me, is a true NHL bust. <laughs> I don't know how to say it more politely than that. This guy, I don't care who's on his line. I, if this guy ever breaks through and has a 20-goal season, I will be shocked. Really, guys, shocked. Uh, I, I just don't think... Uh, I still remember that lame spin, spin kick he did to that beer can when he found out we were trading him. And he put like his little video of him doing a spin kick, and it was a terrible spin kick, guys. It was about this high. And believe me, if you know what a spin kick is... You know, if you're not going like at least about seven feet high, you're not doing much of a spin kick, really. And, and uh, this guy <laughs> did this lame spin kick and he just had the footing wrong and everything. So for me, you know, uh, it's just one of those things that I still, still stands out for me. Oh my God. Thank God we got rid of him. So guys, today, more of a competitive squad on the ice for sure, right? I mean, they got all their horses playing though. Let's keep that in mind. So if we beat them, we beat them with all their horses out there. If there's anybody... Any Hall of Famer that I'm forgetting they have in that team, and I'm not counting Carter as a Hall of Famer, guys, but, you know, you got Latang and Carlson and, and Crosby and Malkin. I mean, this is major horses that they, they, they have out there today against us. So you can bet that those guys are going to come at us and they're going to try to beat us. They know there's hype with Buffalo and they're one of those teams. It's a proud organization and uh, it's in Pittsburgh, so they're going to want to make sure that they give their fans something to cheer about. It's, uh, this is like the Boston Bruins of that division, kind of, in my opinion. It's, it's just kind of, they're kind of like that consistent team for decades. They just stick around no matter what. And the Penguins have something to prove missing the playoffs last year. So they're going to come out, I think, with a bit of a head of, a head of steam this year, guys. There's, um, there's teams in each division. I would say Buffalo and ours, you know, would be the team in our division that should come out with a chip on their shoulder. I think Pittsburgh over there. There's teams in the league that, you know, miss the playoffs. I wouldn't be surprised uh, certain teams. Uh, I might make a video on it eventually, like Calgary over there and uh, out west. You know, there's teams that miss the playoffs that, um, that have something to prove this year. And we're one of them. So I think the Penguins, though, like they're making sure that they're icing a decent team tonight. So my only question mark, guys, will be goaltending. 
really going into this. I like what I'm seeing. I'm glad we're going to see Zach Benson. And guys, I'm going to keep saying it, and I've been saying it since before preseason. I believe that Benson can cut the squad this year, not just play nine games. I believe he can cut the squad. My guess is, knowing Adams and knowing how careful he is with, with what his, his development of his team, most likely Benson will wind up in, in the uh, um, Western Hockey League um, for one more year. You know, like I'm just guessing. If I ever call it the Q guys, it's just because it's what I call um, all juniors in my head is the Q. But um, I think they're, um, uh, they're uh, really coming at us uh, with, <laughs> I'm looking at their lineup and it's funny. Like, my goodness, you know, Raquel's there, Achari's there, my goodness. Riley Smith, I mentioned. Rust is there. Wow. They're really, uh, they're really, uh, they're, <laughs> they're really um, putting their best effort to beat us today. So we, uh, you know, with what we we're, we're sending here, you know, there's some. Of course, there's some guys missing, which is fine. It's okay. We'll see what the kids do. You know, I'm I'm uh, I'm looking really forward to this. I don't think we'll see Hauser in this game, though. I want to repeat that. I don't know why they got Hauser here. I just don't think we're going to see him in this game. I think it's going to be Cooley. I like what I've seen of him against Boston. Uh, will he make the team? No. No, Cooley won't cut the team, guys. I know he looked good in that game. He could look good again. He can look outstanding in this preseason. Sorry, Cooley's not cutting the team. He's just not. You know, they got too much invested in Comrie and UPL to for some goalie to beat these guys out. It would have to be an established goalie, I believe, guys, to get the number two. And uh, Cooley, though, I hope he continues to impress because it gives us an option. If we lose somebody, let's say, to uh, on waivers or something, we, then we, we got Cooley as an option, you know, which isn't a bad thing. It's not a bad thing at all. It's like, you can never have enough goaltending, folks. Really, I've always been a believer of that. You can never have enough goaltending or enough blue liners in this league, so. If we got a goalie that kind of just stands out all of a sudden, we weren't expecting it to, what a pleasant surprise for us, really. You know, if there's anything that is question marks going into this year for the first time ever is not our number one goalie, it's who's going to be our number two. So it's kind of a better problem to have this year than what we usually had every year, guys. You know, it's a better problem. It's not like... You know, we're worried. I mean, Devin Levi, guys, I'm not expecting him to be Dominic Hasek, no. But I'm expecting him to play all year like what we've seen him close the season out in those seven games last year. I'm expecting him to play 50 games like that. That's how competitive this kid is. I've been saying it for years. I'm a big believer, guys, that he does not have to go to the minors. No. And I don't think uh, the truth is, I honestly believe Benson could be the forward a, a, a version uh, of Devin Levi. Really, he, he might just cut the squad, guys. He might. You know, is, is it a long shot? No. Is it probable? Probably not. Probably not. He'll probably get one more year of development downstairs, let him go down into the uh, juniors and let him, let him get one more year of development down there and he will definitely cut our squad next year. There's no doubt about it. My guess is, uh, like, if the Sabres uh, might even, we'll see. I don't want to say he's not making this team. He could. The kid's been that impressive. We'll see tonight. I hope, I honestly hope Zach Benson goes out there, guys, and has, like, two goals, two assists tonight. Really, against those vets on Pittsburgh, just to really show Adams, listen, you got a huge decision to make. And, you know, putting our Poso and Gergensons to take up roster spots, I get it. You want veteran leadership? I get it. I do. But you have to second guess it if this kid's this good. You do have to put somebody else. The odds are we'll, we'll say he's going to replace Quinn for now. Yes. But when Quinn comes back, which is in a few months, then what happens? What happens then? So we can't, uh, we can't just start tossing people out either. So we'll figure it out. You know, this is a good problem to have. Too much talent's a good problem to have, guys. Leaving it there. So that's it. We'll see what the boys do today. I'm expecting a real good bounce back in. I'm expecting them to be motivated when they see those Hall of Famers, those kids, those Hall of Famers playing against them. 
I'm expecting the kids to be really motivated for this one, guys. Okay, guys, I'll see you tonight. Let's go Buffalo. And hopefully tonight we're talking about a win because this will be a special win if we got this one. See you then.